What's going on everybody? Tingo here. Welcome back to Tingo Trucking. First off, it is Thursday. Um, just want to remind you guys, uh, last week was the premiere of live stream Saturdays. So yes, this weekend, Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be having our second episode of live stream Saturdays. So Mark your calendars, put it in your phones, write it down on little posty notes, do whatever you got to do, tell your friends and family. If you guys want to join in on some fun with the chat or even, you know, join in on the action, whatever game we're playing, um, it's going to be a world of fun. Um, <clears throat> it could be an hour, it could be five hours. So um, just mark your calendars, do whatever you got to do. It's going to be a world of fun. Um, hope to get, see you guys there. Uh, so let's get into this. Uh, if you guys remember the last episode, we took a tractor from Bakersfield up to Eureka. Um, we almost made that level 10. Uh, we're not quite there. We're less than, or just a little over 200 experience points away. Um, and we will be moving up into the workhorse category out of being an enthusiast. So, um, I, I was looking at the area, and there's not a whole lot down in here. There's no, we can get fuel. That's about it. There, there's no mechanic shops to fix our truck. There's no rest areas, so we're pretty much screwed on that part. But um, I think there are a few jobs out of Eureka. We have a few areas here that um, we can get some jobs out of. So let's take a look at the job market out of Eureka. Um, there's a tractor from Eureka to Tonopah, but we just took the tractor there. Why are we going to pick up the same thing we just delivered? That's no fun. Um, there is a set of, or a trailer of cars here, uh, 532 miles from Eureka to San Francisco. We're heading right back to where it all started from, San Francisco. It's a, uh, fragile cargo. It's a standard delivery, but it should get us to that level 10. No problem whatsoever. Um... Poppers expires 21 hours, 52 minutes, uh, trip time 13 hours. That might be pushing it because our guy's probably going to need a break in between. So that's going to be really pushing it. But we might have to try that because we don't want to dip down too low. Um, we're going to be losing over two grand going from that job. From that job to this job and then almost three grand going from that to this. And so on and so forth. So we're going to take the cars. We're going to risk it. Hope we, I hope uh, our guy has enough energy left in the tank to, um, to do this here. Hold on just a minute. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. I forgot what button was to reset and recalibrate this thing. Make sure it's working fine here. Yeah, all right. Just making sure. Look at them stars. So pretty. Anyhow, enough of that. All right. Let's get on the road here. We got a job to do. All right. So I think we just go straight on out of here. There we go. That's a little bit better. Alright. So anyhow, like I said guys, um, Saturday, live stream Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know uh, some of you guys are in like the UK, stuff like that. I think you guys are what, five hours ahead of us, so roughly about, say about 6 p.m. your guys' time. So, um, yeah, I, I have some several friends that are over there in that area. They come on and join in on the fun, so you guys can do it too if you guys have the time, if you're able to. Like I said, it's a world of fun. 
uh, we like to play the forest a lot, especially the multiplayer. We we can all get in on the action and stuff, help and build and um, killing some cannibals, go exploring, stuff like that. Um, I think last time we actually built an archery range. Yes, bow and arrow. Um, we built an archery range inside of our cabin. Um, it's pretty fun, actually. Um, we had a little, not really a contest, but just a little shootout, just to see who can... Man, I took that a little too wide. Just to see who can shoot the best between the three of us that were shooting. It was, uh, it was pretty good times. And, uh, they, they changed up a lot of stuff in that game to where it's... It's getting to be more and more difficult with the enemies that come at you and stuff. It's pretty fun. Good times. You should join in. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's just fun meeting uh, different people and stuff in the live chat. It, it, it is. It, I didn't really think it was going to be like that. I mean, I knew it was going to be a good time meeting people and playing the game all at the same time and stuff, but actually getting to know people from all around the world, just talking to them and stuff, getting to know their their cultures and what they like to do, what they do in their downtime, stuff like that. It's all it's all really interesting. Let's uh let's go ahead and slow down here. Hate to get a speeding uh citation before we even get the job. Alright, so, like I said, we're gonna have to get some sleep here. Rest stop in seven hours, yeah. It's, it's gonna happen. Because we're gonna be needing a break very shortly. Wrong button. Alright, so let's get on in here, accept this job. Pick up our cargo and hit the road. Put some miles behind us, as they say. Break. All right, let's get this thing. Beep beep. Just visiting. Don't mind me. Come and get in your uh, stealing your cars here. Somebody must have uh, got a good deal on these cars. They bought a lot at one time here. All right, let's take a look at these cars. Man, those are expensive looking cars, aren't they? I like how the trailer matches the truck. It's pretty nifty. All right. Let's uh, get going. I don't hit those cars to our right. That would be bad. I was gonna go, but uh, I guess I could have went. This guy's going kind of slow here. Didn't realize he was gonna be going so slow. heading with this thing again we are heading down from uh, Eureka down to San Francisco with 24,000 pounds worth of cars they're expected to be there between Saturday 314 a.m. and Saturday 954 a.m. 28 hours and 43 minutes remaining on the job which is good because we need a rest stop in six hours so add 10 onto that that's 16 hours in the job and it's going to take us roughly 13 hours to get there so this is going to be pushing it for time it really is i really hope we can make it
and I think this is the most we've actually used this truck without taking it into maintenance first. So we're going to be putting the truck through its paces here and see what it's got. Six hours it is now going on six o'clock so right around lunchtime 12 o'clock noon would be when we got to stop and get some rest We're gonna have to stop for some fuel. We're gonna stop here since we're here. That way that's just one less thing we gotta worry about in the future. I mean we could probably stop and get some rest now, but I wanna put as many miles between us as we can. We gotta take this turn wide to get around that corner with this trailer. You guys can't tell I'm sort of sweating the whole time thing here. that other sign right there. That would have been two signs that we've taken out. Alright, so we're full on fuel, so we're going to be able to make it there, no problem, on fuel. Sunrise coming right up into our faces here. heavy as that tractor was, believe it or not. That tractor was like, what, 29,000 pounds? This load of cars is 25? Once we get off this road, the trip will really pick up its paces. Just the speed limit on this road and how it's so windy is just going to take a lot of time. for that 500 horsepower, 550 horsepower engine right about now. <laughs> Hopefully 
hopefully we can get up to some speed here. But then again, I think this road is kind of dangerous yet on this side, if I remember right. Yep. Well, we managed. We got through there pretty decent. I really like traveling down this road, even though it's slow and it's windy, it's just scenic, it's just fun to drive because it actually keeps your attention on what's going on instead of, I mean I like going down the interstate and stuff and just setting the cruise and just being able to go, but still, I mean it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun driving these types of roads. crazy. Wasn't expecting that one. Feels like I'm racing on a road course. Go figure, right? Except for this truck's a little bit heavier and I'm carrying something behind me here. It's just way too windy to try to go to the actual speed limit. I'm trying though. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. I'm just concentrating on this road. There the crew set at 30 right when it hit the sign. Sorry, I'm trying to get readjusted in my chair here, going through all them twists and turns and everything. Sort of got me all unsettled. Things should settle down a little bit for us here. Should, hopefully. So we may be able to travel down some roads here. Hold on, let me just check the map here. So, um, yeah, I don't know why the GPS always has us go down 
this road right here makes no sense because you gotta go 30 why not hop on the interstate here and just go so we're gonna be taking i5 down I don't see anything to un to discover and of course we're gonna be getting off before we can actually get to that point there um, so yeah, we've already delivered there before we need to try to get to this area right here in Oakland, believe it or not. I think that's one of the things that we need to deliver to for uh, one of the achievements. So there's nothing really to discover on the way there, so we're just going to go ahead and keep trucking on. Like I said, I really don't know why it's having us go down this road all the time. I really should have checked that before doing anything. What? what happened to the cruise? I set the cruise for 30. What happened? Let's try it again. Never. But anyhow, we're, like I said, we're pretty close to level 10. Um, we have a little over ninety thousand dollars in the bank right now. This will put us over a hundred thousand dollars. So as long as we can keep getting the good paying jobs like we have been, I see us being able to get a new truck within the next four or five trips. Um, it's gonna be what kind of cabin it is, but. It's a little bit more powerful engine, I believe. If it's not, we should be able to upgrade. That's the other thing that I want to do is not only just have enough money in the account to purchase the truck, but we also need enough money in there. Oh, you guys start to yawn. We're going to stop for some rest. But I want enough money in the account to where we can upgrade it to the max that we can possibly get it at that point in time. And then, but also have enough money in the account where we still have enough left over to pay our loan, um, pay our driver, can't forget about our driver, we still got to pay them, uh, and then still have enough money left over for maintenance um, and traffic violations that we might get. Hopefully we don't get too many. We've been pretty good so far here lately. But it's going to be nice getting a new addition to the company and our fleet of trucks. I did also check out the garage on what's going to take to unlock the the new like the large garage and that's going to take a hundred thousand dollars all in itself to be honest with you that's going to unlock the next level so what we're going to have to do is once we get enough money for the truck and we pay for the truck next thing we're going to have to save up for is gunning is going to be to upgrade the garage because we cannot do anything else until we unlock every single slot available within that garage. So we're going to have to spend a hundred thousand dollars to upgrade from a small garage to a large garage so that way we can keep passing down the trucks and hiring other drivers for that garage. So it's one step at a time, it's one thing after another. Um, just a, a gradual progression but we will get there soon um, I need a rest stop as soon as we can um, but we will get there eventually of having all of our drivers driving for us making us good money and also, everybody having the top of the line truck, which is what I think was at level 20, I think it was. Um, 
I had checked the other driver. She's doing pretty good. She's bringing in anywhere between $500 to $500 to $1,500 jobs. She's the same skill ranking as us. Uh, she just has her skills set in different ways, uh, in different areas of expertise for her. You know, like us, we're going straight up and down the columns. And, uh, but her, she's like, hers is a little bit different. A little different. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna have to try to pull in here. There's a rest stop just on the other side of this wall. So after we get weighed in, we're gonna make this right turn around if we can. What's this truck doing? Pull too far forward? Alright, so we're gonna have to loop around here after we get weighed in. Get some rest. these are rest areas. If not, that's gonna suck. Yes. Wait. These aren't rest areas, I don't think, are they? I don't think they are. Worth a shot. If it's not. Nope, it's not. Shoot! Alright. Next rest stop, which is, I think, the next way station down the road. I think. Where are we at here? We're right here. Yeah, so we're going to have to pull in right there and get some rest. So hopefully we can make it. Sorry about that. Had to readjust everything again. Alright, so this time we don't have to go over the scale. We can go on the outside. Uh, pass on through here. I know, I just tried to. Alright. Um, if you guys watched uh, last week's live stream, it's on my it's on my Yuzu channel. If you guys watched it, um and you're like, well, you guys didn't even start off from scratch. I mean, you guys just, you guys already had a base already started and everything. Well, the thing is, is that for the first couple of hours, um, for some odd reason my sound wasn't working right. Everybody in the live stream could only hear me talking. They couldn't hear any game sound. They couldn't hear the other people talk, uh, chatting with me or anything like that. So we ended up stopping and fixing the issue. Well, one of my buddies who was in there with me, he was actually recording everything from his end. So we were able to finally, I was able to get it. Um, I need to get that part of the video from him so that way I can upload it to my page. But what I could do is also link, I think that's probably what I'll do, is I will end up linking um, that part of the video that's on his YouTube channel. I'm going to link that in the live stream to where you guys can go and see the first part of everything that went on in it so that way you guys don't really miss very much he did get it edited a little bit to shorten it up a little bit because that's like he didn't want to do what i did which was like 200 something or two hours of gameplay he condensed it down pretty decent
All right, so it is now 12.52. So Natalia couldn't find a job and had to return empty. Fuel and maintenance cost are $269. There we go. All right, sorry about that. I was wondering what happened. My track IR was all sideways and stuff on my head. So let me just readjust it one more time here just to be on the safe side. There we go. That's much better. Ooh, a car. All right, enough messing around. We got a job to get done. All right, so like I said, we have to be there no later than 9.54 a.m. today. So we have 7 hours and 33 minutes remaining. As of right now, we have 5 hours and 8 minutes left going at this speed. So we might be okay. Sorry, I thought that said I was going 60-something miles an hour. I was like, holy shit. Let's cruise 58. And let's go. Alright, so we're filled up on fuel. We got a rest. On to San Francisco. Got 3,129 miles on this truck. About the same as what it was. What was the other truck? Um, 4,000 something miles by the time we were able to handle it, hand it down to the driver. I think that's what it was. Hugged that kind of that corner kind of tight, didn't we? Gotta try to get there. Don't want to be late. We also gotta be careful because we don't want to get a speeding penalty or damage this thing in any way. Alright, so we're coming up to, looks like Stockton. Yep. Sure are. Alright. Dan Raphael, Stockton. Almost used a half tank of gas already. Uh, we got about another five hours left of the job until it's late. You can see there at the uh, that display, not the display, but the gauge. The uh, the first one to the top of the GPS. A little analog clock. You got the uh, the three, the six, the nine, and the twelve. So as of right now, you can see that it's well, a little after four o'clock in the morning. That means we got about five hours left before this thing's late. Oakland, San Francisco, one mile. That might be our exit. Got to be our exit. Yep. There we 
we go. Didn't think I was gonna make it up there. Hey look, it's a Shemron. Not a Chevron, a Shemron. So it looks like maybe up by this sign up here, we're going to be making another right. Yeah, we definitely would never have made it without taking that rest break. you let me in. You keep me forced off the road there. Bad thing is, is that there's actual people that drive like that. They know that they can get over in the far left lane, but yet they still refuse to let the oncoming traffic. Really, guy, you could have stayed in the other lane? But they refuse to let people in. You know, it's really crazy on how people... They're always so rushed. I don't know how it is in other countries, but... There's a lot of places here in the States that people are always... They're just so rushed all the time. And they, they just don't care about who's around them and what's going on. All they care about is get to where they're going and not really caring who they run over in the process as long as they do what they need to get to where they gotta go that's all they care about it's just and then they get upset when people do it to them you know and when they try to be nice or somebody is just a little bit more mean natured than they are or a little bit more of a reckless driver than they are, or a little bit more of a hurry than they are, and they're the ones that get cut off, or they're the ones who are trying to enter a freeway or something, and they're the ones that are forced off, you know, to the side of the road because somebody else refuses to let them in. Then that's when they get all upset, and they start yelling, something, you know, the road rage, basically. It's just... People are, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are always out for themselves, and it's just, to me, that's not right. You know, you're sharing that, that road with hundreds and thousands of people around you every single day. There's just no room for carelessness like that. But it is what it is. That's why you got to have eyes, and you know, in the back of your head and to the sides, and it's just... You just got to really watch out all around you because people are just crazy out there. If you're one of them crazies, I'm sorry. I don't mean to disrespect you or offend you, but I'm sorry, but the truth is the truth. You got to face the facts. Shoot fits, wear it. turn but we got it got her done now we get to sit through some traffic here but we're back on the coast it's been a while since we've been down here around the coastline hasn't it kind of nice being back here again it's been a long long time the first time bringing our new truck down through here, isn't it? I think so. 
Oh, look at that. They actually got a digital speedometer thing there. That's nifty. I actually was reading my actual speed I was going to when I was just speeding up and I was just going 18 miles an hour. Now let's that car. Are they going to let me over? Yep, they are. Thank you. Appreciate it. Next intersection should be the one we turn at. That's one of the reasons why. It's, well, that is the reason why I got over here. Because you guys know, like I said in the last video, I hate driving in the left lane with these trucks. In real life, when I'm in my car, I'll travel through the left lane all day long. But with this big, humongous truck, it just feels wrong being in this lane. There's a bus over there. Hey, how you doing? Tourist. They creep on out here so that way if we don't catch a break, we can still get it when the light starts changing and the other vehicles stop. Just like that. Looks like we're going to a loading dock up here. If I remember right, it's off to the right hand side, just on the other side of that wall. We gotta pull up into that garage area, that big. Yeah, we gotta pull up into it. And then back up. Yep. In fact, this is the same site that we dropped off our very first trailer load for the company. When we were driving that big uh, yellow truck at the very beginning. bad thing is I think I did a lot better that last time glare in that side. Do this as realistic as possible here.
of it. Let me just straighten it up a bit and back her back up into it. Should be good. good as it was for our first trip but it is pretty straight so we'll take it can't spend too much time on it or it's gonna be late and we don't need that so that job went 536 miles took us 27 hours flat took uh 85.1 gallons of fuel we ended up getting 13,218 dollars and 675 experience points which took us up to level 10 so, let's go ahead and see. After we level up here with our just-in-time deliveries, because we get a lot of those, actually. Let's go and take a look at what our next truck can and will be. All right, because we only have $101,000.58. So, let's just go and look at our wish list. All right. Yes. All right. So our next truck will be Where is it at? Okay, so they That's level 15. So they still haven't changed that yet. Did I go past it? Level 15, level 20. I could have swore they had a level 10. Okay, so this is the level 10 truck here. Never mind. All right, so yeah, this is the level 10 truck here. All right. So this is what it's going to be like, because you remember, our truck is just the day cab, which is stops right here, and our wheelbase stops, like, right here. So let's go and custom this configuration, see what exactly we can actually do with this thing. So we got the studio sleeper, so we'll be going from, well, can't do that, okay, never mind. We're going to be going from this cab here to the studio sleeper. We're going to be going from the short chassis of 200 gallon to a long chassis of 220 gallon all right extra wheelbase extra fuel tank engine still gonna be the 455 so we won't be able to upgrade that right now 13 speed retarder that's what we'll be getting right there oh looky here looky looky right now this is what we got this is like how ours looks right now that's what we could get but I don't like that wood grain. It just looks too yeah. I'd rather just stick with that. Because that's twenty-two thousand dollars for that bleh. Um Wine Red, that's the color of our truck. Uh haven't really unlocked any other paint schemes yet. Alright, so this is gonna be the fun part here. We get the light bar, then go across the top, which is pretty cool. We got this light bar that goes across the cop, the nine light. Got this one right here. Ooh, that looks. Uh, I don't know. Let me know how you guys think of the blind mount, the blind mount visor. I don't really. To me, I don't really. I don't know. I sort of like the standard. Um, that's yeah. Um, can't really do anything with that. Go with the double mirrors. Uh. Okay, it's got the lights going down the side. All right, it's already got those on it. The bumper, it goes from the bumper standard, the bumper modern, and the bumper shield. Uh, the bumper shield is what we got on ours. Uh, what's this? Bug deflector. Hells yeah! 
I'll go for a bug deflector. Then of the of course we gotta have our hood mirrors. Those things are a lifesaver. Some people might not like them, but you know what? Yeah. So upgraded wheels, upgraded tires. Same with back here. Those are already upgraded. Same with those. Upgraded tires. Can't do anything with the the exhaust, I don't think. Yeah, that's already standard. This is what the plane stacks look like. That's what the plane stacks look like. I don't know. It actually looks kind of cool. The standard exhaust, I don't know. I like them, but just to see around the truck, it's going to be hard enough the way it is. But the truck is going to be a lot longer now, so it's going to be a lot easier to see. So we might just keep them the same. And then, of course, Kenworth flaps. I still like the black. I don't know what these are going to be. So yeah, guys, this is what our truck can and will look like when we're done with it. And it's going to cost us $155,000 right here for this big beauty. So anyhow, guys, uh, let me know how you uh, think about the truck. Uh, let me know what you guys would think will look better on the truck. You, we've gone through the options. So um, let me know what you guys think of the feedback. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I hope to see you guys on the live stream Saturday. And uh, until next time, guys, see you on the road. Thanks for watching.